Maybe dry in your neighborhood, but not so dry up north. North of Otto Falls, we got some rain pushing eastward. Looks like rain around Rexburg, Sugar City, rain to about St. Anthony, and then it gets a little cooler, turns to snow. Yeah, showed you the weather window with that snow, which is located right about there. And then we have snow over the Big Hole Mountains just between Victor and Swan Valley. Of course, Victor looks like some rain and snow is falling there and snow over the Tetons. Uh, once the sun goes to bed, a lot of this will die off. This is kind of the tail end of a front. The main front is already pushed well into Wyoming. That's why it's cooler. That's why we had the wind today and continue to see the wind. That cooler air rushing in. It's the rushing that's the wind that we get out there. And then this is just some moisture lingering behind that front. That will dissipate later this evening. Skies will clear up and temperatures will drop like a rock. Now, last night we managed to stay above freezing. Tonight, no siree, way below freezing for a lot of us. St. Anthony, only 24. So hard freeze out there. The isolated rain, that's for this evening. And then that will back off with a clear sky as we go well into the nighttime. Colder night for the Central Mountains. Lows will range from the lower teens to the mid 20s. 25 for low in Mackey. Look at Stanley. Talking about colder, 12 for a low there. And then isolated snow will continue this evening for the upper highlands, western Wyoming, places like Island Park, Jackson, maybe as far south as Afton, and of course, Driggs. Maybe you're seeing some snow now. Your low temperature tonight down to around 20. And then we got a colder night for the southeast highlands. Skies will clear up overnight. Low temperatures will stay in the 20s tonight. Then tomorrow, a nice start to April. April 1st, partly sunny. Not fooling around here. This is the honest truth. 53 for high in income, 45 for high in Soda Springs, 42 in Montpelier. Partly sunny for the Upper Highlands in Western Wyoming, 41 in Island Park. Not a bad way to start April. 41 for high temperature at Afton, Yellowstone. As always, colder than the rest of us. It will be a sunnier Friday for the Central Mountains than what we had today. That will allow temperatures to warm up to 58 over in Chalice. So not too bad. Pretty close to where we're at typically is this time of year. And good news if you're tired of the wind well tomorrow less of it at least with temperatures creeping in the mid 50s pocatello at 56 rexburg you're at 52. southeast idaho chevy dealer seven day forecast looking ahead oh those temperatures look really good for the first weekend of april just we got more wind yeah kind of a warm wind if you will high of 64 and then more wind monday and tuesday we could see some rain both of those days, so have your umbrella on standby just in case. But nothing like that expected this weekend. It will stay dry all this weekend. We got lots of sunshine, highs in the 60s, even in Idaho Falls. Then we turn cooler with a chance of some liquid precipitation Monday and again on Tuesday. Blackfoot seven day forecast. We're also in the 60s, but starting off the weekend with a bad hair day and then down to 60, less wind on Sunday. So Sunday will make up for it as far as the wind is concerned. Teton area seven day forecast. We warm up to the 50s and then we got rain, snow Monday and all snow next Tuesday. So enjoy that. Enjoy the weekend. And for the Central Mountains, beautiful start to the uh, weekend with high of 60, just that dreaded wind. We'll see that wind return on Tuesday with a possibility of rain and snow with temperatures warming up to 67 a week from now.